This is a Range Rover Sport 3 litre SD V6 HSE. It's a 2012 on a 12 plate, one owner from new, full service history, last serviced at 69,719 miles, um, and it's, uh, it's, it's done just short of 79,000 now. The fuel economy, which I'm sure won't worry in the slightest, it, it's a lot better than the older Range Rovers. It's got a new gearbox, I think it's an 8 speed gearbox. Um, fantastic changes gear, you, you can't even notice. Um, urban 28.8, extra urban 34.9, and combined 32.1, which for, for a car that weighs, I think, 2.6 tons, it's, uh, it's great fuel economy that. 0 to 60 in 8.5 seconds, and a top speed of 124 miles an hour. Um, I'll just take you for a ride and uh, try and explain some of the features that this car's got. Uh, it does have one thing that uh, probably not many people would use. TV and video. I'll just turn that down. So there you go. It has a TV. And, uh, as usual, for some reason, it's on deja vu. That's where Top Gear is whenever I watch it. So you've got a TV there, but it's a split screen. So if I want nav on, if the driver wants nav on, uh, I can see nav, but the passenger can see the TV. And you can't, the driver can't see the TV when when he's driving, but you can hear it. It's also got um, Bluetooth hands-free, as you would expect. It's got audio streaming. So if you click on My Music. It then gives you a choice. If you click plus, it gives you a choice of other things. But here, it's uh, it's already set to my music. I'll just turn this up because it's it's like being in a concert hall when you've got this on full blast. I'll turn it up for uh, a couple of seconds, um, but I I can't leave it on for long. Otherwise, YouTube will cut the soundtrack off. <laughs> That's uh, Il Devo, I think they're called. Right, I'll just take you for a drive. It's not a very nice day up here, um, which is a shame because the scenery is great. It's a fantastic driving road, but while I've been setting the cameras up, the uh, the, the fog's come in. So uh, get the lights on as well. But what a great car the Range Rover is for, for roads like this. Um, when I was when I was coming up further down there, it's obviously flooded, and there was water right across the road. And to be honest, I didn't notice at first because it was in a dip. And next minute, the car was covered in it. But I think I'd have, if I'd have been in a lighter car. Uh, I'd have certainly noticed this a lot more, but the, the Range Rover just went through it, no problem. As I say, it, oh, as, as we can see down here, I'll get the wipers on already because it's a bit flooded down here. Right, it's also a bit clearer. Xenon headlights and also high pressure headlamp wash. So, TV sat nav, it's got heated seats, it's got a heated steering wheel, and it, it almost gets so hot that you can't hold it. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty good. Seats are really comfortable electric memory seats, three position as well, um, it remembers your seat position from your key, alters the steering wheel as well, the, the steering wheel's electrically operated, height and reach adjustable, so that's there, you've got uh, power lumbar support as well, the, the seats, the, Sorry, the seat, the steering wheel is virtually, honestly, it's glowing. Let's switch that off. And um, great 
It's great driving position, so comfortable. And big flat surface on top of the door card here. Ideal for, for that arm. This arm, you've got a massive front center armrest and it's also got an adjustable armrest for the driver and passenger. You can, you can see what's coming over hedges way before anybody else. You can see over the cars in front of you so you know what's happening. And it's got all sorts of terrain response here, which again is highlighted on the dash. There's, there's one there for motorway and you can feel the car go down a little bit. It, it kind of hunkers down. Um, obviously you, you don't need to travel in the suspension as much on the motorway but uh, not quite as comfortable on roads like this <coughs> just turn that back it's the um, the one with the rotary gear shift now most new ideas in the uh, motor trade seem to be taking a step backwards but the rotary gear shift is excellent <clears throat> just turn the dial instead of clicking things and dog legging sorry instead of clicking things and, and dog legging you just turn the dial you've also got In 400 yards turn left you've also got um, paddle shift on the steering wheel and uh, this this car changes gear you you really wouldn't even notice it's it's imperceptible it's, it's beautiful gearbox um, it's um, plenty of engine braking turn left. we're just going to again one of my favorite places the road through Dunsop Bridge Turn left. You've got um, visual display here through the steering wheel to tell you when to turn and so you don't have to take your eyes off the road. Let's just go on to nav. Nav menu and we'll cut off voice guidance. Now it's looking like we're behind a big coach here, just where they're going. We do uh, a lot of weddings around here at uh, Bashall Barn and hopefully we don't get stuck behind it for too long. be able to show this but um, dual view key so that's that Nav. let me just uh, pull up and see no TV reception <laughs> well that's that's good it's somewhat spoilt my demonstration Anyway, from this camera you'll be able to see the sat nav, from that camera you'll be able to see that there's no TV display here. Here we go. The car's being valeted on Monday. Um, we, we just texted it yesterday for me to use uh, and then of course last night I got a telephone call and uh, somebody's interested in the car and coming tomorrow so you never know this this might be my last ride in it but it is the car is beautiful as are all Range Rovers um, we, we have all sorts of cars in the garage you know I've, I've had my fair share of Porsches and, and so on well, we've got a nice SL in the garage and, and all, all sorts of other things I could use but honestly I'd move them all out of the way to get in a Range Rover because I, I, you can just drive anywhere in them and uh, it, it's effortless you, 
no no bumps no rattling your fillings out every time you go over a bump it's um, they, they are superb cars and and this is coming from somebody who never used to like the the, the early ones I, the, the first one we ever drove I hated um, just felt like you were gonna fall over when you went around a corner but now they're absolutely brilliant plenty of room plenty of luggage space um, and, and as I say even though it's a, it's a it's a big car and this is a narrow country lane it's probably easier to drive in this than it is a, a little sports car because you can see what's coming um, you can see the sides of the car you can see the, the end of the bonnet and you can see the back uh, it's uh, it really is good and hopefully if you if you're bored with my commentary you'll be able to see all the beautiful scenery around uh, around the UK here I know we, we do get a lot of people um, watching the videos from abroad so uh, rather than just take you up the dual carriageway like I have been doing most of the time uh, I'll try and do different parts within reach anyway As I say hopefully this week the microphone won't uh, clap out halfway through and spoil it so we've also got uh, a couple of features that the autobiography has it's got the front and rear bumpers it's got the, the black grill off the autobiography uh, and also the door protectors are uh, painted in the, uh, the body colour which is Fuji white I think this is ebony leather and you've also got the ivory contrast stitching and it, as I say it really is a, so comfortable to drive got uh, power tailgate as well open and close click the button on the remote and um, tailgate opens there's a little button inside the tailgate press that and it closes on its own this this car's got the mats it's got the carpet mats and over the top of the carpet mats it's also got the thick heavy duty rubber mats so everything's like new and it, th this is it's still not been cleaned yet um, and uh, we'll be doing that on Monday but it, it'll, it'll be like brand new old fuel station there rather quaint actually we'll just uh, have a look at that because we're coming up to we're coming up to poppy day Goodness me, these men of Boland died for England 1914 to 1919. one or two other camera views today only messing about not uh, 
not really thinking of seriously adopting the, these views, but uh, just seeing what I can do. And also a new audio setup. Hopefully that's an improvement. know you can go anywhere, you really do. The, uh, the river down there looks like it's ready for bursting its banks as well. I think uh, the weather forecast today was for a heat wave. Although I was also reading it's the anniversary of the uh, 30 year storm. Which uh, kind of decimated Great Britain so. That, uh, that knock in there is that. It's, uh, an air freshener. So I'll just put that at the back there. The locking wheel that's behaving itself at the moment, that's in the centre console. has been, uh, while I was setting the cameras up, there's been a lot of motorbikes gone past. Uh, cyclists, so you always have to be careful on these roads. But again, you know, from here, I, I can see way, way into the distance. We've got uh, front and rear parking sensors also got a reversing camera, CD radio, um, we'll play DVDs as well and it has got a TV tuner um, and picks up the free Sky TV channels as well. Who doesn't love a car that you can watch Top Gear in? Sure, have we got a signal there yet? No, still no signal. Go on. That is a so and so. Well, beautiful place, um, served lovely food. on this. Great grip. Just had the alloy wheels refurbed so they're like brand new unmarked. It uh, really is a lovely car. Good brakes. just 
it's a, it's a joy to drive. I might go back for my lunch to the inn at Whitewell. Everything easy to hand. No need to take your hands off the steering wheel. We've got cruise control down the left hand side here. This uh, alters your tracks on your phone or iPod or CD. And from this, you can change the menu. There you go, that's showing TV. Let's see if we've got a... I think we've got, I think we've got a picture now, I can't really see from here. Actually, if I stop, if I stop, Stop. So, yep, we've, we've got a picture there. So, when I start, there you go, that goes off. And if I click that, the nav it should show the dual screen. And, uh, oops, I'm showing nav, and that should be showing the picture of the TV over there. Here's a get the wipers on fast here because uh, I'll, let, I'll let this uh, chap go through to just show you how deep that water is there. I am I am tempted to go through it at full tilt, but I'm not going to. But as I say. That guy's worrying about where he's going and whether he's going to make it through the water. Range Rover, straight through. straight road I'll just show you the turn of speed we're doing we'll just slow down to 30 30 there you go that's fast enough but you get the idea to point a camera at the river. But, uh, it's yeah, 
um, I won't uh, I won't go through this and splash them. I enjoyed that so much, I think I'll go back. camera equipment seems to be behaving itself as well at the moment which uh, is a first <laughs> and as I said that one just clicked off Given Bridge Hotel Marshall Barn. speed limit here. Actually I've just realised I need to knock that TV off because hopefully it won't be won't be picked up by YouTube but uh, crikey I forgot about that. I just won't have to show the view out of that camera very often. Chiffing farm shop. It's lovely around here.
full force. I can't resist that. Actually, that, that's uh, yeah, it is. That's where the gliders take off. I don't think they're going to be flying today. And I can see a car coming up there. We'll just slow down a bit. He'll have seen us.
go towards Longridge. I think call in and uh, look at uh, Mari's stock on the way back. Okay.
400 yards, turn right. In 100 yards, turn right.